right, guys, so we're gonna jump over back to our um, impressionistic sphere. All right, and this one's pretty fun. You're gonna wanna probably start off with kind of that middle-sized brush, and eventually you're gonna wanna work your way into one of your smaller brushes when you get to more detail. And again, this is gonna be kind of a layering thing. Um, the more you kind of add to it, the better it's gonna look. Now, an example of this style of painting would be Vincent Van Gogh. If you think of the Starry Night painting, um, that's kind of exactly what he's known for, and he kind of made that style famous. So. Um, think ahead to those, and if you don't know, I'm going to show you a quick pick. Alright, so when you look at Vincent Van Gogh's painting, um, you're going to notice everything's kind of little dashes. All right, and he's got in his sky, you know, it kind of flows a little bit, but there's no like long strokes where he's blending it out. Everything's kind of a little bit more quick. And again, you want to put down like a nice color like we did, and then you're going to kind of come back on top. All right, so I chose yellow for my sphere just because I wanted like an under color. I'm actually going to make my sphere blue. Um, so this is a little bit of, I'm taking a little bit out of the underpainting realm over there and I'm gonna use that concept a little. Now you don't have to do that, but obviously if I were to paint impressionistic yellow over a yellow circle, um, that's not really gonna to work too well, all right? So I'm just gonna dive right in with just pure blue, okay? So again, this style, you don't necessarily need to start with the white. Only the ones that you really wanna blend, you really wanna start with white, all right? So I'm gonna start right in with just pure blue, and again, I'm using kind of like my middle-sized brush and just like the other stuff, you want to make sure you go with the direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start along this edge. And I'm going to, you can see how I'm kind of just painting and I'm using little marks. Now they're going to kind of blend together a little bit and that's okay. But the idea is you don't have to stress out so much about trying to blend it perfectly. The style is supposed to be a little bit more textured and a little looser. So I'm kind of working my way. And again, I'm not going back and forth like this. I'm curving with the circle because these little dashes you're making are gonna read like directional arrows. And if you go the wrong way, it's gonna look not how you want it. So you gotta make sure you're kind of feeding it in the way you want it to go. And I'm just going back and forth here a little bit building up my dark layer. Now, I don't wanna wrap that dark layer around too high, but I'm just gonna go now until kind of my brush runs out of paint. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. I kind of work my way up that way. And then I'm going to work my way back. And you can see my brush is starting to lose paint because it's kind of sitting on the yellow a little thinner, which makes it look green because blue and yellow make green. Everything's kind of a little mark. And this is a really good way to paint if you're not confident with blending, because um, this is eventually going to have a really kind of blendy look to it, but, but you're using more little marks, all right? So you're gonna use color and, to kind of, and, and direction of your stroke to create the blend versus trying to actually sit here and go back and forth and stress out over all that. All right, so I'm pretty much out of paint. I'm just gonna keep working it in until it's kind of filling it all the way up there. All right, so I'm gonna get there. Now, next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that blue, but I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it on my palette here so it lightens it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of start in the middle a little bit and I kind of want to just give myself a line to judge, off, judge the rest of my curve. And then from there, I'm going to kind of go right back on top. And I'm going to work my way into the darker part first. And it should hit up some of that darker blue that's still wet, and you're going to start getting a little bit of a blend. You can kind of see it happening over there a little bit where it's going to get a little darker for you.
And you just go back and forth with the curve of the shape. I'm going to clean my brush off just a little bit because I'm going to go into the lighter part now and I don't really want that dark blue on there. So I'm going to just grab some of that light blue I just started making. And now I'm going to kind of work my way up into that highlight. All right, so that's kind of my first step. Um, and then the last little thing you guys are gonna do on that first kind of layer. So you had your plain background color. And again, if you did a light purple, you could definitely do this with dark purple on top. But again, I used yellow, um, cause I'm kind of going for that kind of Vincent Van Gogh look. And I didn't really want to do yellow on yellow. You know, that doesn't make sense. So here we go. And now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white and I don't need a lot because I want it to mix a little bit. And I'm gonna start right in that highlight. And this is the last little step of this first layer. And I'm starting kind of where I want it. And again, I'm just kind of like dabbing the, the paper a little bit. And then I'm gonna, again, working my way out in a curvature motion. It should start hitting some of that like blue that's wet and it's gonna start making it blend a little bit. So I'm working my way back in. Grab a little of that white. Now I'm kind of going in circles, getting bigger and bigger. And that's a pretty good first layer. All right, I'm probably gonna work back in here once it dries with a little bit more. I'll probably switch to a smaller brush and we'll do that in like the next video. But try to get your sphere kind of to that point. Um, and yeah, if you liked the, I mean, you can really do the underpainting style with this and it has that cool effect. You can see a little bit of that yellow kind of shining through and that's a really cool kind of glowing effect that I think if you guys roll with that, your paintings are gonna really look nice. It is a little bit odd and different. You just got to kind of trust the process. But um, let's go ahead, get your sphere looking like that, and we will move on from there.